that wind out there, it's so windy today. Um, even my Lou said in the night how, how windy it was. Um, right, home bargain. Why am I clapping? I don't know, forget that. Let's start again. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Uh, home bargains, just a small haul, nothing major, nothing, um, you know, massive, just a few bits and pieces, had to go shopping, obviously. Um, so, and I thought, um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put my phone on silent. You know what it's like? It just starts ringing. Um, yeah, so anyway, so just a small haul, just going to go over a couple of bits with you, just show you what I've got, nothing exciting. I'm repeating myself now, and I'm sorry about that, apologies. Um... Tea bags, but these are herbal. Um, peppermint, they do. I was looking for the sleep ones. Um, so if anybody sees them anywhere when you're out and about, can just let me know. Um, I know I can get them in Holland and Barrett's, but you know, like Holland and Barrett's is not near me, um, and I couldn't be bothered to, to drive from one area to another one just to get a box of tea bags. So anyway, while I was in Home Bargains, they do the chamomile one. So I picked up a couple of boxes of the chamomile and they are, you'll be proud of me today because I've actually wrote the prices on the boxes. <laughs> 55p. So 55p, you get 40 each, 40 tea bags in each box. So um, chamomile, two of those I got. Let's shut them over there a minute. Um, peppermint. And that's it for the tea bags. Right, so that's my little herbal bit. I got sea salts for the bath. Um, I've wrote the price on this one. Look, 2 49 for this bag. And this is a one kilogram bag. I didn't know these were like vegan friendly. It says on the bottom, vegan. Is that because they're 100% natural? Natural salt? Oh, there you go, you see? I never knew that. It does, it says ingredients, dead sea salt. There you go. Um, yeah, so 2 for that big bag. Mostly we go through loads of this. Well, sure more than me because um, the bath upstairs is a really long bath. Obviously it's upstairs. Well, it might not be, it might be downstairs. The bath is, really, is a long bath. My feet don't touch the end and I hate getting in it. I prefer to have a shower. Um, so he, Sean baths in it all the time. He has shells a lot, but he baths in it a lot. So he's the one who likes the bath salts. Um, right, so that's that. What else have I got? Let's get the boring stuff out of the way. Fairy liquid, how much is that in there? 99p, I think. This is the only thing I didn't write the price on, but I've got a feeling it was 99p. Fairy liquid, yeah, 99p for your fairy liquid. I know they do lots of different, um, um, smells and all that, but oh, I just like the original one. Uh, sugar, very, very rarely do I use sugar in this house, very rarely. So if I have sugar, this will last me, well, I, honestly, I, I don't know, months. I couldn't tell you the last time I bought sugar. Um, and they are, I wrote the price on there, it's all 62p for sugar. Cereal. I'm going for a stage at the moment where I like, of an evening, I like a bowl of cereal. Um, I like Rice Krispies uh, with warm milk and just a little teaspoon. I'm saying about sugar, that's where I have my sugar is on my Rice Krispies. But only a teaspoon, I just sprinkle it all over the top as with warm milk. Um, and so I thought I'd just try these. These are Kellogg's All Brand Golden Crunch. And it says they're high in wheat bran fibre fuels a healthy gut. So we're all about a healthy gut, aren't we? <laughs> and they were one ninety nine for the box, so I'm gonna give those a go. You know, it's one of them things when you're when you're peckish and you think, what can I eat? And I turn to bowls of cereal. It's funny, isn't it? And I think it's a childhood thing, so obviously when we were little we had lots of cereal. Um anyway, right, so what else oh, sorry with chocolate biscuits. 189 for two, a twin packet. Um, bleach. They used to have that in there for 39p, so it just shows you that it is going up. These were 45p bleach in there, and they used to be 39. So it's gone up six bloody pence. Um, what else is interesting? Not a lot there. Okay, picked up another packet of, or oh, what do we call these? Bottles? Tubs, 
um, of me magnesium. And you're going to ask me, what is my opinion on them? Do you know what? I don't know whether I feel any different or whether my sleep is any different. And I take one of these a day and I'm probably on my third month now, I think. I had one on the second one. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe two, yeah, maybe two months. Um, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know whether it's making any difference or not. But I'm taking them anyway, you know. We'll see. Whether, whether, whether they take a longer time. But I would have thought by now, two months in, that I should be feeling something. But I don't really feel any different. Um, so, but I'm taking it anyway. Magnesium, 99p, I said that, didn't I? And you get 30 tablets in there. Um, now, this I need some help with. Now, we've got the Lever Sweet, as you know. Has anybody got a Lever Sweet and you've had it either professionally cleaned or you bought a product to use to clean it because I want to clean this sweet and I'm very reluctant to put products on it which I don't know is going to ruin the leather. So I picked up this in there by Star Drops called Leather Clean and Feed. Quick and effective cleans and nourishes and I'm presuming you just spray it on, hang on, you spray it on a small amount onto a clean dry cloth and gently work the product into the affected areas of the leather. The affected areas, that mean I can't use it on the whole thing. Wipe off immediately, oh God, with a separate dry cloth. You see, ideal for use on leather furniture, jackets, leather car interiors. Hmm, I don't know. It says do not use on Nubuck or Suede. Well, I wouldn't have used it on there anyway. I haven't got anything swayed. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Can I use this all over the, of the suite? Anyway, that's what it is. If anybody knows of, if there's any products out there, because I did buy, I don't know if you remember, I did buy those leather um, wipes and they, they were rubbish. They didn't do anything at all. Uh, so I thought I'd give that a go. Or if there's any professional companies who come out and you know professionally clean it, I'd happily pay um, to get it professionally clean because then I know that they're using the right product. So can you give me some tips, please? Thanks. Um, that's that. Oh God, I'm having a hot moment. Um, what else have I got? Mini eggs. Love mini eggs. I could eat these all year round and they normally do have them, but they obviously more this time of year because it's Easter. Love me packet of mini eggs, I think they're about 69 p something like that. Um, and then a bit more bore, a bit, 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 a couple more bits, which are boring bits. The little body buffer things, you know these? You know, like you use these and after a few weeks they start to fall apart and you just end up throwing them away, don't you? Um, but I, you know, when you're showering, although I do use, I must admit, my um, Dove soap, always use Dove soap, but I like to keep these in uh, a spare, you know, in case, in case I've run out of soap for whatever reason. And I've got a shower gel, so I use these for shower gel. Um, and I think Sean uses these, but anyway. So yeah, they're about 39 people. So I picked up one of them. And uh, picked up some wool, because I'm into my crocheting. Oh my God, I think maybe on the next video, I'll show you a couple of things I've done. So proud of myself. And you will be proud of me when you see what I've done. But I just picked up this colour. I love this colour. It's like a salmony pink. Um, so I'm going to do, I've already done the girls, the two little ones, Maya and Dolly, a cardigan each. Um, but I thought I'm going to use this colour as well and see what, what this comes out like. Pretty, pretty colour. So I picked up one of them, they're like 99p for the yarn. Um, what else is exciting? Nothing really. Pegs. I love these things. You know, like when you have must-have items. So I need to do a video where I'm gonna do my 10 must-have items, right? Um, and this is one of them. I uh, hanging, it's called a hanging era, actually. I just call it a peg hanger. Because <laughs> it's got little pegs on it and it hangs on the washing line. Um, I don't know anybody else uses these. These I take on holiday as well. When I go away, 
when I can get them. Um, they fold up, well I'll show you, it folds up like this, and they go in your suitcase. Perfect if you are staying somewhere, like not self-catering, so if you're in a hotel or an apartment and you can't, you've got nowhere to hang your bits and pieces, like your socks and your knickers and boxes as well, you can put on there. Um, but little bits, do you know what I mean? Little bits and pieces, and then you hang them up in your room and they, they just dry. Um, I know you haven't got a washing room, a washing machine in your room, but wash your drawers out with a bit of soap, give them a good scrub, and then hang them out to dry, rinse them out and hang them out to dry. Honestly, we've done that for years. We used to do it because we used to have a caravan um, and, and growing up, and that's what we used to do, wash our clothes in, in the sink, you know? Anyway, so in the caravan, back in the day when we had the caravan, we used to have these in the awning. They used to hang up and we'd have all our underwear on and drying. <laughs> so these are really handy to take on holiday with you. Um, and they are 169 each, and you get 32 pegs on there. And that's what it comes out in the packet, obviously, all folded up. But I use them for in the garden as well, on the washing line. That way then, when I'm hanging all the socks out, they don't take up the whole bloody row of the, um, the washing line. They've got their own individual hanger, as it were. So a couple of those. Sorry, I went on a, on a bit there about me, hang, me, uh, me pegs, me peg hanger. Cards, I always pick up cards in there because you know, uh, I was in, if I'm in there, I'll get them. And if I'm in the, in the card factory, I'll get me the card factory. But their cards in that home bargains are really nice. I mean, this lovely one was 59p. Really pretty. So I picked up a card because I needed some. I've got some birthdays coming up. Um, honey, uh, 145 for your honey. Just a jar, I'm gonna sneeze. One minute. Now my name always says, when you're gonna sneeze, look up to the light. And it should go like, and it's not. It's you! And it's not. One minute, I'm just going to get a tissue. Right on my face. Off camera, on the neck. Now, just wash my hands quickly. Um, yeah, honey, 145. I've always got honey. I don't use it particularly to put on toast and. I do sometimes, but not a lot. Um, I actually, I use it in cooking. I use a lot of honey in cooking instead of sugar, actually. Um, but yeah, so 145 for the, this is the set honey. The runny honey in there was 189, but that was the make called Rouse. Um, now, going on to a bit of alcohol, <laughs> as you do. Um, raw passion. This is a uh, passion fruit liqueur. It's called Raw Passion. It's $5.99, brilliant bargain. Such a good value for money, this is. And it is 14%, I believe, volume, 14.9% alcohol in this. And I use this to make uh, porn star martinis. So in porn star martinis, if you like a cocktail, try that. It's, it is, um, is it vodka? Vodka, passion fruit, and Prosecco on the side, with a, and you normally have a passion fruit, you cut it in the middle and put it on the top. Anyway, um, Pessoa, oh, what is Pessoa? How much is Pessoa online? You can buy Pessoa, is it, it might be more than 5 99 What I'll do is I'll flag it up so you can see the difference, but in home bargains, 5 99 And you don't have to have this with a porn star, it's just a liqueur, you can have lemonade if you want it. You could drink it neat, it's that nice. Passion fruit liqueur. But one of them, now staying on alcohol, I picked up these. Now I often pick up the little cans of, um, they do like for instance, the porn star martini. So in Marx's, they do their little range of little mini cans, alcoholic cans. Um, they do the porn star martini. What else do they do? They do like gin and tonics. You can get loads of different ones. The porn star martinis in, Marks is a two pound, and they're, they're a small can, so smaller than this. This one in Home Bargains was one pound 19. It's a passion fruit vodka, so a bit like the um, Porn Star Martini, but this is made with sparkling water. Um, so sparkling water, five times distilled vodka with it, 
with a hint of passion fruit. So it's not got the passion fruit liqueur, but it's got the vodka in it and the passion fruit, the fruit, oh, get your teeth in, fruit flavour. And it's 4% volume and the can is a 330ml can for 119. I haven't tried this one before, so I'm thinking, okay, for 119, it's nice, decent, sand, nice, decent, oh, I can't speak. Nice, decent size can. So we'll give that a go and I'll let you know. In fact, I might try a little bit in a minute while I'm on camera. And I'll tell you what it tastes like. But no me, I'll have to top it up with that the cure. Um anyway, so that's that. On to oh we'll do a bit of garden, we'll do the gardening bits in a second, but one more thing. I picked up a little um, black top in there. I just wanted a plain black top. I'm not going traveling down to Primark just to get a little plain top. I had to be in an easy three pound 50 in home bargains. Um, that's all I wanted, just plain black, black top. Just to go over the top of leggings, I didn't want it too, too fitted, too tight. So this is a 12 to 14. It's got nice long sleeves, because I've got long arms, nice and loose, and it was £3.50 by the Jeff Banks make. £3.50, not bad, is it? And they're, uh, they're probably about the same price in Primark, actually. Well, Primark, as you lot like to say, and I say Primark. So that's my little black top. On to their gardening stuff. Oh my God, I was so pleasantly surprised with the amount of gardening stuff they had in there. When I was in there previous, they didn't have the range of stuff they've got in there now, and I was really pleasantly surprised. There's some lovely pots in there. But I picked up these, and I might go back and get a couple more to go on the fence. So it's your little watering can. That's the front. Flat on the back, so you can stick it on your fence, or in a corner or whatever, to lean against whatever you want to do. But I'm going to put them on the fence. Um, for 3 99 I didn't think that was bad. You've got your hook bits on the back here so you can put them on your fence. And they had the round ones as well, but I just thought these to, to dob around on the fences will look really cute with your hanging um, flowers. <laughs> Whatever, trailing begonias, trailing geraniums. Um, you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, to go in there. So I thought that was really good for 3 99 Got that. Um, one of these, these are those flower support, what's the name? Things. But these are really flimsy now. They did used to do them in the pound shop for a pound. These are 79, 79p in home bargains. Um, I haven't bought it for a plant pot. I'm going to do something, got a DIY project in mind for this. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Uh, but yeah, they, these are, they are flimsy. They probably wouldn't last two minutes in the garden, I don't think, unless you lot use them. Let me know if they work. I might go and get some um, to use in the garden. However, my plants are not non-existent at the moment. Uh, yeah, so picked up one of them for a little DIY project. And these, these are much sturdier. Now the light's shining in there, look. Um, there's not a lot I can do about it, folks. I'm sorry, I've got, I can see a big line across here with a shot. If I stand back, no, it's not make any difference. Um, anyway, so these are called obelisk. Never heard of it. And there you go. How tall are they? These are, well, I don't know, but they're quite tall, look. They come up to my chest. So they're quite tall. And they were three, nine, are they 3 99 Hang on a minute, there's one thing I didn't like the price on it, or did I? No, I didn't, and I do think they're free. Yes, they are, they're 3.99 each, I've got two of them. And these are to go in the pots out there. So I've got some um, sweet peas growing in little little pots. So I'm presuming, I'm not a gardener, that I put the plant in and correct me if I'm wrong, and then I put this over the top and then that grows up round it. Is that right? I hope so. And uh, as I say, I've got two of those. And they've got the little pointy bits, so you stab them in the ground. Oh, honestly. And then my last thing from Home Bargains is a scarecrow. There's loads of them in there. I love these. I think they're brilliant. I bought mine a couple of years ago 
from, and I'm pretty sure I did a video. Did I? Yeah, I think I did. One of my very, very early days um, from the pound shop, little mini scarecrows, and I still got it in the garden. It's in one of my pots. Um, but these were like one one pound sixty nine. Look how big he is! Brilliant. And they had um, men and they had the ladies. I I just randomly picked one up because I just thought, wow. Well, but for one sixty nine, I think that's brilliant. Loved it. Um, on the stick, your bamboo stick at the back, so you can shove him in and leave him out or wave him about. Whatever you want to do. Do you know what that reminds me of? Punch and Judy puppets. <laughs> I don't even think they do Punch and Judy anymore. Or do they? Or if they do, I don't think they do. I've heard that they, they're not allowed to use... Do you remember when Punch used to have a stick and hit Judy and the crocodile? I don't think they're allowed to do that anymore. But I could be wrong. I don't know. For any of you Punch and Judy fans out there, let us all know about Punch and Judy shows on, on the beaches. Um, and yeah, that's it. So that's it for my little haul. But I want to show you the couple of bit. I want to show you my couple of little bits of crochet. I've got to show you. I must show you that. Um, oh, and just quickly show you this lovely arrangement I did. I am here. Uh, a minute. I, I just want to show you something. So I got this lovely arrange. I got this arrangement. No, I right. Start again. A, um, a customer messaged me and said, Nikki, I've got this big glass bowl. Can you do an arrangement for me? So yeah, of course I will. So the glass bowl is there, can you see? And this stands on, so she's got like a frame, a bit like this frame without the top on it. And then that bowl sits on the top of that and it's quite tall. So it's probably not as tall as that, maybe, maybe to, I don't know, can I come back a bit if you see me here? Maybe back to about there, so it's still quite tall. And then this glass bowl is going to sit on top of it. Um, and I and she, as, as I say, she gave it to me and said, can I do an arrangement? So I said, yeah, of course I can. So I just wanted to show you what you can achieve. If you've got anything like, and this is quite heavy, a big bowl like this. And all I've done in the bottom, I've got to put it down for a second because it's heavy. In the bottom of the bowl, because I didn't want to see the foam, you know, a temporary ball, um, what are they, I think, I just think they're called topiary balls. They're like um, boxwood topiary round thing. They do them in home bargains actually. So what I've done, I've got one of those and they come in two sections. So they come in like, well, the ones I've got are two halves and you clip them together. I've got one half and I've put it in the bottom so you can see there. And I filled it with, I didn't need to put any weights in it because the bowl is heavy anyway and I filled it with foam. Um, and then obviously I've done the display around it and it's come out, well, as you can see, really, really nice. So um, that way then, that covers up your glass bowl on the inside so you don't see the foam. Good idea, right? Eh? So that's that. Now I'm gonna run upstairs. If you wanna stay, just to have a look at my little crochet bits, Do please stay. Um, and if not, then I'll see you all later, but I'm just going to run up and get them and just quickly show you. So wait, wait a second, I'll be back. Right, now I've got the me little bits I've got to show you. I'm very proud of myself, you know, and you, you will be proud of me when you see these. Um, so I did, and this is all from the wall in um, Home Bargains. So this is the little cardigan I did for Dolly, Dolly Doodles. A minute. And I've even put buttons on it as well. Now ignore this bit hanging. <laughs> ignore this little bit hanging here because oh, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, let me just show you this. Show you this first. Look at that. I uh, all right. It's not great, but I put the buttons on it as well. Look at the little buttons. Put the buttons on it as well. I'm very proud of myself. Now I tried it on her, and the body fits lovely, but the arms are too short. So what I've got to do, and I've just started to do it, is um. Pick it, and if you lot of crocheters out there tell me if I'm doing this right, I'm not unpicking it as such, but I need to add some more. So I want to unpick the edge in this bit here to add a couple more rows of the white and then go back in with the green. 
is that the right way to do it? So that's what I need to do. I've got to make the sleeves longer. Um, and then, yeah, then that's good to go. But I can't believe it when I tried that. What do you reckon? Um, yes, yeah, so that's a little cardigan for dudes. Then I did for the new baby, the baby boy, a little romper. Look at that. Look how, small, look how little it is. A little romper. And then it's got the little straps. And then all I've got to do is I think it goes like crosses over like that. So I need to put a button. Can you see? Like a button here to clip to clip them onto together. So that'd be the back and then the front. The little romper and then so this is the little boy's cardigan i've got to put a little button and it kind of goes like that wraps over like that so i need a little button here and then a little button at the bottom little jacket cute and then then the last thing i mean i've done a couple more things but i'm not going to bore you with all everything else and then the last one um, I realised I've made this far too big. Um, it was supposed to be six months, but it looks more like a two-year-old. <laughs> so this will fit in when it's about two. Actually, I reckon that's even bigger for Dolly. That's pretty big, isn't it? Look, maybe for a four-year-old. It's huge. I don't know how it ended up so bloody big. Is it because of the size of the hooks? If you use a big hook, it's bigger, and then if you use a small hook, it's smaller. Honestly, I don't know how it's come out that big. But, yeah, that fit him when he's going to school. <laughs> By the time he's going to school, you won't want to wear this. Anyway, it's my first attempt. Now, let's just quickly, let's just do this, um, uh, what do you call it? The, the, um, this. I'm going to taste it. Oh, the camera's all screw with. A minute. I'll have to put my hand over it for a second. Right, there you go. So, oh, that's the other scarecrow. It's been in the garden the whole time. Look at that. It's, it hasn't even faded. The face is gone a little bit funny. But apart from that, absolutely fine. Been in the garden the whole time. Um, right, so, it's really, the light is really funny in here. Let me see if I can put the big light on, see if it makes any difference. One minute. I don't know if that's going to make any difference. Um, so let's just quickly try this. So we're going to open this one, and I, we might not need to open that, but we're, we're, let's just see how strong this is. A minute. So I've got my glass, my martini glass, or my champagne sauce, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's not even passion fruit colour, it's clear. Look, it's actually clear. Okay. Cheers. Mm. Do you know what? I, it, I can taste sparkling water. It's, it's not very sweet, put it that way. It's all right, but it needs something to it. It either needs a bit of this to go into it to make it more more sweeter or the sugar syrup you can add to it you know the sugar syrup i've got um some sugar syrup yeah it definitely needs something definitely needs something anyway folk i've probably bored you enough going titivating about with me crocheting and and this bit here anyway you know what i'm like um you take care everybody I hope you have a lovely weekend. By the time you see this, it could be the weekend. So it might even be Sunday. I might upload this on Sunday. Um, so if that's the case, I hope you've had a lovely weekend. And then next week, I will catch up with you at some point next week. All right. So take care all. See you soon. Bye. Sorry, me again. I got a bit hot. Like I'd take my bloody jumper if I was so warm. Just quickly, I, before I go, I forgot to say two things. Um, congratulations to my cousin who just wrote her second book. Um, it, I've just got to say this. Um, I think it's brilliant. It's, it's a children's book um, called The Light Bulb Travellers. Um, 
The light bulb travellers are gathering for, for glory. It's on Amazon, if you want to have a look. Um, it's a really good book. Um, it's not it's not that long, but it's a good children's book anyway, it, and it's quite funny. So um, I want to say congratulations to her for doing that. And the second thing was, hello, Carol from Wales. How are you? <laughs> Hope you're really well. And have a lovely weekend, all right? So now I'm definitely going. All right then, ta-da. Thank you.